Yeah, it was cracking. I haven't done one of these in a while. So basically, it's a rare tutorial because, yeah, I haven't done this in a while. I've been uploading other crap. So I'll be showing you how to get this bongo cat since I saw a YouTube video. And the way I saw in the video didn't work. I found out how to do it. So I'll show you how to do it now. So you would go to this link in the description. All right. Oh, shoot. My bad. You go to this link. Can I paste it? And then you click download. Uh, Save. You can't see because the cat's in the way, right? But you could just right click or click the up the arrow facing upward. Click that and then show in folder. And then you can click this. No. You right click it. And then open with. And then WinRAR if you have it installed. And if you don't, go get it. You click it. Extract to. Right. Um. You click wherever you have OBS installed onto. Program files. Uh. Where is it? And then you find OBS Studio. Right. And then you click OK. You need admin privileges. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, whatever. Right? You can close the browser if you want, right? It doesn't matter. You right click it. Right click OBS or wherever you have it installed. Open file location. And then you click here, right? You see these, right? You, in the video, the dude said you just paste it here, but in a newer version to OBS, it don't work like that. You have to actually, like, okay, hold on, wait. I'll make your life easier if you're on Windows 11. Right, so. Basically, you can open a f uh, cat the file. I'm open the cat, the f and then you see the bin folder. You go into it, and then you copy this, or you can cut it, and then you go into the bin folder into the OBS uh, file, and then you would paste it here. You see, I already did it. That's how the cat's moving. That's how it's here, right? And you would do the same thing for the uh, data, data, whatever the hell you want to call it. And the OBS plugins folder, you'd go into it, you go into it, and you copy this or cut it, doesn't matter. And you would do the same thing here. Same with the OBS thing, OBS plugins. You go into it, and then you, you would copy the DLL file, and then you would paste it here. It's somewhere, I don't know where it's at, but it's here. And then that's it, that's basically it. That's how you get it, it's simple. And then once you have it installed, you just come here, you click the plus sign, and then it should be right here. You can click it. Or wait, I can, I'll just show you here. You can click it, you can edit the crap, you can make it bigger or smaller, you can make it blink faster or slower, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want, you can do. And like this other there's options for it too. So yeah, that's how you, that's how you get it. It's pretty simple. Just 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 follow what I did and you have it.